Hi guys, welcome to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. I'm glad you found my channel and um, I'm here today with the B&M haul. So as usual, I've been to my favourite shop, B&M, well one of my favourite shops. I also like uh, Home Bargains and I like the range and I like Ikea and I like um, Dunelm. And I, actually, I like all of them. Just stop. Just. <laughs> I'm sorry, I like all of them. So, anyway, without further delay, I'm going to show you what I picked up on this shopping haul. Um, I've picked up a, quite a, well, a few items in this haul. Um, some of them's going to be um, everyday items, you know, and some of them's going to be um, bits of decor and things. So, without further delay, I'm going to just jump straight in. So, first up, I'm just going to grab just whatever I reach for. You know, this is this. there's no real order here. It's just whatever I reach for first. So, firstly, we have this, like, little wooden hanging heart. I think it's lovely. It's, I mean, it's kind of out with the Christmas decor. But to be fair, it doesn't have to be just for Christmas. You, you could use it all year round, really. It's just quite a woodland look. It's got like this jute hanger here with a jute bow and this cute like little reindeer head. And it's like of a wooden material. And this was um two pound. It's a wooden stag, wooden heart with stag, and it's in the cozy cottage range. So only two pound for that. You could actually um just to give it a bit more colour, you could put, you know, like I know a few berries on here or whatever, depending on what colour scheme you are, or a snowflake, or you know, if you like kind of ice white for Christmas. Um, I can never decide what colour I want to be for Christmas. So I'm different colours in different rooms. But probably when Christmas comes, I I might show you that. Um, but yeah, I I like traditional, I like the kind of woodland and the icy look, and I like um you know, just like whatever colour complements your furnishings at the time. So for my living room, it's kind of teals. So yeah, I, I just can never decide. So I have different different colours in different rooms. So yeah, two then, sorry. Um, moving on, moving on. So microfiber cloths here, the multi-purpose microfiber cloths. You get six in here and they're all sort of charcoal grey light grey in this kind of um turquoisey colour and these are three pound for the pack of six uh they're by the addis brand so you know what you can i go through these of packets and packets of uh, microfiber cloths uh, in this house so uh, you know yeah three pound cheap as chips right moving on moving on Okay, I'm sorry, I'm looking, if you see me looking around, it's because I've got everything sort of on um, on here, on my dressing table that I'm reaching for. And I'm like, oh, what will I reach for? <laughs> but anyway, I've reached for this. It's a lovely um, lunch bag. I'll just take it out of its packet here so you can see it properly. Um, yeah, I absolutely love this pattern. It's, um, oh, I'll just zip it up here so you can see the, the proper size of it so it's a kind of rectangular shape there you go there's the side there's the front it has two little carry handles like that and it's got these leaves on which are ferns like a fern leaves sorry they're not ferns the palms and the monstera leaves there and it is, um, I'm trying to see what it says, fully insulated to keep your things fresh. So what it means is it's got this kind of foil inside and that will keep your sandwiches cool. You could even pop an ice pack in there as well just to, to help out keeping them cool. But great for work, you know, um, if you are still going to work and not working from home because I know a lot of people are. But uh, yeah, that was only £2. And keeping on that theme, 
we have this lovely water bottle well I'm, I'm calling it a water bottle it doesn't have to be a water bottle I'm just saying that because that's probably what I'll put in here um it's it was quite expensive actually um when I saw it but it matches that and I thought I've got to have it I have got to have it but again as you can see it's got the kind of palm leaves on and the monstera leaves and this bottle it's a vacuum bottle it's well it's 500 mils of liquid and it's insulated am i saying that right insulated insulated it keeps things warm and it keeps things cool as well so it keeps things cool for up to 24 hours and it keeps things warm so if you put your coffee in here or chocolate or tea it'll keep it warm for up to 12 hours and obviously you could your water will keep it cool for up to 24 hours so that was 4.99 so yes a bit on the pricey side but if you pick this up in like anywhere else you know you probably will pay more for it so it's not that bad moving on okay got a few things in like the bargain bit but um you know when they're selling off things I, I can't help myself i've got i've got to look in the bargain bit um so i've got this luggage strap and it's in this turquoisey color and it says what does it say take me to paradise oh i'm pleased one bring us back but um, that'll be next year though <laughs> so um it was i think it was about three pound originally and they'd reduced it down to one pound fifty and you know what i've never ever had a luggage strap but because i've never really thought that they were that important but then when you think about it all you when you're packing your case and if you're anything like me your case is bulging it's like active capacity um and you know if you zip if you zip like breached if it went you know broke all your things will be just spilling out everywhere so um you know if you if you've got a, a luggage strap tied around because i mean let's face it i know you can pack your case and you can um you can wrap it in the cellophane at the airport but who does that you know i don't do that when i get the airport i'm heading to the bar you know i'm not faffing on with any cling film wrapping my suitcase i'm going to the bar waiting for me flight so i can't wait to get rid of the case believe me so anyway i picked this up so um so just for some extra security plus you can identify your case a bit better as yours um and especially on the return journey as well can you imagine if um i mean oh, if you can again if you zip burst or whatever and then all your all your dirty underwear was coming out your case that's just oh no that's horrifying isn't it um but a tip for that what i do i wrap i wrap them all in the towel i do i wrap I wrap all of my used underwear and bikinis um in a in a towel so if it does come out well you know the spare items are not going to be spilling out all over the place but that will still help keep your luggage safe so one pound fifty worth the money moving on um i'm just trying to find the bits that was in the bargain reduced bit there was this this kind of um, tassel hanger. It reminds me of macramia, but it isn't. It's just tassels. So I will just hand back like that so you can see it. There you go. Now I bought this for um, probably outside in my garden for my under my gazebo. It was originally £4 and they'd reduced it to £3. So I picked that up. Also, um, it wasn't in the bargain bit um but on the macramia kind of theme i picked this up now this oh it's lovely honestly i love macramia i will try i'm going to try and learn how to make this you know um so yeah there it is it's quite a big piece as well now this just totally reminds me of um of the 70s you know Totally reminds me of the 70s. There's a lot of stuff around now that um and like the kind of bohemian theme that's around these days is so typical of the 70s. So but I loved it then, you know, so I'm right, it's right my bag like. <laughs> but anyway, I picked this up 
and this was only five pound and i don't think i'm going to put this out under the gazebo because it's far too nice i think i might even use this in this room um yeah so five pound for that and moving on moving on uh, let me see oops 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 stick with me is this <laughs> right oh, do you know what i don't know if you can see this if it's we've i don't know if the writing's reversed or what but anyway it's this gorgeous plaque and i love the shape of it it's so nice the shape and it's got this little metal heart at the bottom of it as well this heart is like a pinkish um like a, a dusky pink colour and the plaque itself is a light grey and what it says is and I love the quote I'm not really into these plaques with quotes on I know they were quite popular like a few years ago and they still are popular as well today but um you know I've never really gone for them that much but this one I really did like the quote on this one and it says family is where life begins and love never ends and I just thought that was such a nice quote and so appropriate. So I had to pick this up and I picked this up from my kitchen. And this was, um, I think it was only 2 99 this plaque. And it is quite big. I mean, you can see the size of it. So I thought that was really lovely. Um, and it's really nice to give to one of your, your family, one of your loved ones, you know. So, um, yeah, sorry. It was three ninety nine. Did I see a three ninety nine or two ninety nine? It was three ninety nine. Okay. So moving on, I bought. I bought these. These little doggy, well, puppy player pack. I don't know if um if you know. I have featured them in one of my um videos, but um we have a litter of Pouchon puppies and um they're really getting playful now so um i picked up this puppy pack for them um and actually great great minds think alike because my daughter picked up exactly the same puppy pack for them as well um so yeah i'm going to give the puppies these toys to play with so if you stay tuned till the end i'm going to do a little um feature of the puppies as they are now they're very very boisterous you know they're very very playful and they're very mega mega cute so yeah stay tuned for um you know to see their little puppies so speaking about puppies puppies need feeding puppies need feeding quite regular puppies get about three well they get three meals a day currently so um i weaned them from their mum you know now because they are five weeks um i weaned them sort of a week ago um and i picked up this butcher's puppy food so because their teeth are just um like little fine needles so they're just coming through you know so they can't chew any hard food or anything in fact with this it is chunks little chunks but I do have to mush it up with a fork, pretty much what you would do for a baby, you know. So, yes, I, I picked up, you know, look, not just this pack, but um, I picked up this. And, yeah, this was £3.25 for six, six tins. A couple of, I don't know, I, I see a boring, boring stuff. Um, but I'll just quickly go through it. Hula hoops, pack of 18 um oh, can't even remember what they were how much were three pounds 49 i think they were um yeah it's not 16 and now there's 18 you know i mean look at the size of that 18 you know i think i need i definitely need new glasses <laughs> but that's for the sun's pack lunch um and i picked up these bottles of pepsi for him for his pack lunch too these are only a pound each, so that's that out the way. Um, right, moving on to this. Mm. Now this, I do like a cleaning product or two, but I do generally use Method because um, I, I just really like it. I use the Method rhubarb, um, wild rhubarb, I think it's called, the antibacterial sprayer, and I use the 
it's like a mint um a mint fragrance which is the bathroom sprayer um i'll just i'll just go and get it this one right here i use that in my bathroom oh sorry it's eucalyptus mint um i've digressed a bit there haven't i i was talking about the e hey, stay on the subject at handy lane sorry <laughs> sorry to digress anyway this elbow grease it's brilliant honestly i absolutely love it i've only just discovered it i mean i heard a lot about it and you know what you couldn't get it like a a few months ago it was selling out it was so quick but um i love it absolutely love it i clean the hot tub with it um i've cleaned well the oven top with it at the hub and i tell you where it's really good for because i've got ceramic sink in the kitchen and um usually there's there was only sif uh with micro crystals that really got that clean and i've got a like a cast iron um like bath cloth or bath in in the main bathroom and nothing gets that clean honestly it's just a being of my life that but um this does get a clean this and the sif with micro crystals but with the sif with the micro crystals it's a cream cleaner so it leaves like a residue you've got to really keep rinsing it rinsing it rinsing it and i haven't got time for that i'm all about the easy life me um in my 50s you know i, can't, I haven't got time for all that so um this elbow grease it rinses away fabulously and i picked this up um in b&m for 89 pence i think it was so it was either 89 or 99 pence um but yeah brilliant honestly if you haven't already used it i would definitely pick it up and try it definitely it removes some quite stubborn stubborn marks as well so oh, i hope i don't lock you here oh right so i picked this up as well I went to my friend's house actually and she had it and I said, oh, you know what, Sarah can smell, it smells really nice and she pointed to this and um, yeah, uh, it's a Febreze bathroom air freshener and I got it in the green colour which is the white jasmine because that's the one she had <laughs> um, and I, you know, I, I didn't smell any of the, like sample any of the other ones, I just picked up this one because I liked it in her house Um and it is it's supposed to eliminate and prevent odors it's a two in one um and it oh it lasts up to 45 days it says and you know what it's not very big i mean there's my hand there it's not very big at all so it's you know it's not you can easily hide it away in your bathroom if you didn't want it on show so um this was 199 but they did have them where it was a two pack they didn't have the green but they had the other colors in a two pack and that was 349 so that would have been better value for money but unfortunately they didn't have a two pack of green and that was the you know the fragrance that i liked so 199 for that um moving on i picked up this little guy here he's absolutely lovely honestly when i saw him i was like oh, oh i need you but look at him there he's got like this kind of um what's that like diamondy geometric kind of effect on him now i have um my kettle and toaster's got this effect on on it and um and i just thought this will go really nice in my kitchen at christmas time you know on the windowsill or somewhere but look at him he's, he's ceramic and he's a slight, um, he's like a pearlescent white colour. Not a pure white, but like a an off-white. Like a very off-white. And he is £3. So I thought he was an absolute bargain. I love him, honestly. I think you'd pay more in Dunelm or somewhere like that for him than £3. Worth that money. So yes, uh, moving on. I picked up pedal bin liners. These are just for the bathroom bins and you get 50 in a year and they were only a pound. So very handy them and very handy when you're cleaning up after puppies too. So I picked up next um, on a Halloween theme, I guess. I told you this haul was just going to be all over the place. <laughs> um, I'm just as I'm, yeah. So I picked up this 
glittery pumpkin look at that isn't that absolutely lovely it really catches catches the light there and it's got these sequins and glitter on the top of it and that's how big it is in my hand can you see that yeah and i picked up that and it was one pound fifty um i suppose if you didn't because it's really really hard to get pumpkin chips in this country i know you can get them in america quite easily but here we don't really focus that much on um autumn uh and and halloween we do we do now uh for halloween but we never used to not when i was a kid you know when i was a kid my outfit was um some rolled up cardboard which we had to paint or if you were lucky you got one of them hats and they were um black and they had like orange sort of patterns on and the orange little rim and uh you, you were in a black bin bag basically for your for your costume it was a black bin bag so times things have moved on with the times you can get some fab outfits now for your kids but anyway um we still can't really get a lot of like homeware like pumpkins for um i mean you can't pick up pumpkins but they've usually got like faces on you know like the jack-o-lanterns so when i saw these i jumped right on them and i thought i'm gonna have them even if i have to spray them you know you can easily spray these a different color to fill in with your you know your home decor color so i picked up two of them and they were one pound fifty each um moving on i picked up this hair dye now i didn't pick up this for me because i don't use box dyes um i do dye my hair uh, i have to because i'm as a badger <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i'm grey if i left my hair to grow like out i would be grey so um but i can't use these because they absolutely kill my hair and um, just turn it to straw breakage is terrible so i don't use these but my other half does because he is also grey as a badger so um yeah i bought i picked this up for him and um actually he needs his hair cutting as well and he needs his hair colouring so guess who's going to be doing that for him <laughs> yes me so i might actually fill him that if you let me um that should be a giggle but anyway i picked that up for him it's not really damaging for his hair because as soon as he grows he's cutting it in anywhere so it's just getting cut all the time so there was there's no kind of length on his hair that well there is now like that's why it needs cutting but um yeah i picked that up for him so i'm gonna nick him over <laughs> anyway that was um one pound 89 or was it one pound 99 one pound 89 or one pound 99 i'm not that sure yeah i don't use box dyes on my hair but um i do i do dye my hair i use a um salon dye a salon colour but I colour it at home so if you're interested in seeing how I colour my hair at home drop me a comment below and um, yes I'll do a, a feed showing you how I do that and moving on I picked up this gorgeous little um, flower in a bottle it's like in a perfume bottle that reminds me so much of a Chanel bottle the shape of it you know like the Coco Chanel bottle so these are lovely pink peony roses and they've got this little, um, I'm not quite sure what flower that's meant to be, but yeah, it's got a lovely little jute bow there and I picked that up for just, I don't know where I'm going to put it, bathroom maybe, um, or bedroom. So that was only £5. And again, typical Lillian, because I can't just buy um one of something i picked up it's little sister in the cream now how gorgeous is that i just think that's so pretty and i think it goes like in this room i don't know if you can see my um up there bed canopy with the um flowers on that i did um but i'm all about the floral i've always liked floral uh and there you go little jute for exactly the same, just a different colour of flower, five pound. Um, right. Oh, finally, I think this is my last item, guys, and it is this oil burner. Now, I don't know if you can use it as a wax burner. Actually, 
but you probably can actually i'm going to open it but before i do i just run through it with you it's like this butter head and it's got you get the two little tea lights with it and you get this um oil which is i don't know if it tells you what fragrance the oil is let's try and open this and i, I bought this because uh, i'm in there i'm in there guys after it oh oh that smells lovely oh i still don't know what it is it just says energizing scented oil so it doesn't actually give a fragrance oh god okay okay let's get this plastic off oh okay now we're cooking so that little tea light was in the back there and that's the little lid so you you can you can burn wax melt in there as well or put your oil in oh, how cute is that that is so nice i'll just put that down and this oil oh, oh it's lovely I'm, I'm trying to think what smell that is it smells like a pineapple smell definitely fruity it's definitely a fruity smell so you get that little fragrance oil in it and as i said you get these cute little tea lights that actually shape like a flower but yeah pick that up and that was five pound there you go five pound for that so i picked that up for my beside my hot tub um i'm trying to make it like spa like uh so yeah, I think that's I'm I'm just looking around, <laughs> looking around guys. Is there anything else I've missed? There probably will be, you know, there'll be something else I've missed. So anyway, I'm gonna end this haul now. If you haven't already and you've liked this video, um please give me the thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel as well so you don't miss any future uploads that I that I do. Um I do have a, a home bargain haul coming soon as well. So pop along and join me for that but until then i'm going to say bye bye for now stay safe everyone bye